welcome back to another episode with the Shed King. It's time to swap these turbos out. It's been killing me. It's been three weeks, two or three weeks since I've, I've actually had the turbo. And I've been working in the yard, uh, finishing my front yard. So, um, which still isn't finished, by the way. Um, and I uh, finally got a spare bit of time um, to swap them over. So I'm going to do that tonight. Hopefully get the manifold off. Um, I'm also going to change the dump pipe and put a screamer pipe in few other things that I've got going on. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. probably wondering why all new G-series turbos are V-band. So I'm going from T3 to a V-band. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to cut this off. That's why I took everything off. Um, replace it with the, um, I'm sure this is stainless actually. Stainless steel um, V-band. I might be wrong. Um, but that connects to the bottom of my new exhaust housing. Um, I'm going to have to redo the dump uh, a few other things. I'm also going to change the, um, the rocker cover over. <clears throat> um, yeah, I've got, a few, I've got heaps of stuff I want to I want to just fix up so it's done for once and all. Um, and then get out and test it on the track. Plant. Anyway, let's crack on. We've got to cut this off and put this on and uh, do a bit of welding and a few other things. Let's do it. I'll just quickly show you what's going on here. The, um, the flange has been welded on, yeah. Um, and I also, you would have just seen me porting all this, um, all these edges here. I'm trying my best to get a good shot on this, but it's so hard. Um, 
Anyway, I chewed all the insides of that out. Well, you can barely see it on the camera. But um, anyway, so that's all done. I'm just going to give it a quick linish. And I'll throw it on the linisher and um, clean up this surface and um, get it back on the car. Let's do it. So it's in, B-band's on, oh, there's still heaps of room, plenty of rooms for exhaust activities, oh those lines move out of the way, they're just, um, I pushed them over there just to play with it, get it in there, but overall positioning's pretty good, this intercooler pipe's going to line up just nice, so that's all sweet, um, I've still got to get a 45 degree pipe for the front here and a few other bits and pieces and um, it's very very close um, so I might end up cutting that off and brazing the end of it see what happens um, see what Andrew recommends but that might be the case for that one uh, the only thing is I just don't know how I'm going to tighten it up anyway we'll worry about that later um, Overall, I'm really happy with it. Um, thanks to the guys at Golby's again for being such good fellas um, and looking after me. So I've done a few things in the last couple of days. Uh, it's probably day three now. Um, I do have a side exhaust now. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah. It's worked out really, really well. Anyway, I'll show you inside as well. Because we have stripped the interior, um, the dash completely. Well, we're, we're in the process of rewiring the car. Um, there's absolutely nothing left of it. The only thing left is just that core there, which is my O2 sensor. And, um, <clears throat> ripped off all the side door trims, everything. Everything's out. Um, I'm going to be redoing all that because I've got a new screen going in there will be a separate video of that <clears throat> coming up in the next couple of days and that's about it let's have a look under the bonnet all right so new turbos on new intake pipe um, it's a four inch intake so I've got that on there um, the screen has been installed so that just goes straight down, straight out the bottom there, so happy days. Um, I'm going to redo the, um, so I'm changing that valve cover, it does have a split in it here. Um, I don't know how that's happened, but anyway, it's got a split in it. So I'm going to be changing that over, putting a new valve cover on. Also be doing <clears throat> some mounts on the new one for the coils, because the coils just basically sat on top of that, that's what those marks are. Um, it's just heaps of little things that I've got to finish on this car. It's just getting out of control, so I thought I'd better get on top of it and um, get a bit more serious about it before I go and take it out and um, put it on the track and see what happens.
Um, anyway, let's uh, let's see what else is going on. Alright guys, so that's a wrap. Um, hopefully have this on the dyno in the next couple of weeks. It's not massively urgent for me. I'm hoping to um, get all the wiring and everything finalised, which Andrew will be sorting out. So hopefully get to go um, show you guys what's going on with that in the next couple of days. Um, and uh, the new screen video. So I will be um, doing a video on the new screen I just got. It's a Microtech uh, five and a half inch dash log logger dash. So it has lots of features um, and lots of safety features which I don't have currently. So I need to get it and protect what I have here and um, my investment. So um, without these safety features and without um, without having any of this sort of stuff, um, we're gonna we're gonna cause ourselves dramas. But anyway, I need to get everything sorted. Um, up and running again, all the sensors working, everything talking to each other, the ECU and the screen, all that has to be working. Um, and then I'll be on the dyno, uh, full send. And we'll see what this this little tiny turbo can do. Um, I'm actually pretty keen to, um, to see what it's going to do. i tell you what, let's, um, let's throw some, in, um, some guesses in the comments of what horsepower you reckon it's going to make. And uh, we'll probably do a little giveaway or something to uh, you get the closest. Anyway guys, as usual, um, thanks for coming in. Um, thanks for the new guys that have been coming in and checking out the channel um, and the new subscribers. Um, appreciate you all the same. Um, and keep up the good work. Thank you.